Hi, my name is Blaine Moores. I'm a member of the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center in Oklahoma City. I'm the author of a paper in protein science called Simplifying and Enhancing the Use of Pi Mole by, uh, with Horizontal Scripts. So uh, Pi Mole is this molecular graphics program that's widely used to view uh, the structures of proteins and to prepare images for publication. It provides exquisite control over the um, molecular scene through uh, either options available through pull downs or through uh, commands that could be entered um, on the command line or run through script files. These script files traditionally have a single command on a line, and uh, um, so you wind up with uh, multiple commands on multiple lines. You have a vertical array of commands, which we call a vertical script. This file is traditionally edited in an external text editor. The file has to be saved after edits are made and then loaded into PyMole. Uh, to execute the commands. Uh, this actually can become tedious after um, because uh, dozens of uh, iterations of changes are often required before you have the final script, the final image that you want. So we found a, a workflow that uh, is uh, one step shorter. Um, this is the um, this process we call horizontal scripting. The commands can be arranged in a horizontal array with semicolons separating the commands. This uh, row of commands can be copied and pasted onto the command line that's immediately below the command history window across the, it's available at the top of the PyMol GUI. Um, it's the command history window is the one that has the white background. Um, so that uh, command line will take uh, the, uh, will accept um, com uh, commands that are pasted into it. And likewise, you can copy commands out of it. Um, so if you have a long row of uh, commands, they will extend beyond the right edge of the window available for the uh, command line. This is not a problem because you just enter the command control E and that'll move the cursor to the end of the line. If you enter the command control A, that'll move the cursor back to the right end of the line. It does this instantly. Um, and then you can use the mouse to move the cursor to specific sites to make your edits. You then hit enter to execute the commands and you see that um, results in the viewport down below. You, go, you use up arrow key to bring back the previously executed commands. And so this um, process is steps shorter since you're not saving the commands to a file. And it's more convenient on laptop computers where you don't have to have a, because you don't have to have the second uh, GUI window open for the uh, text editor. Um, so we ran into uh, a couple limitations. Um, uh, our challenges. Uh, one was that uh, you can't have the label command, um, you can't have more than one label command, and that label command has to be at the end of the horizontal script. If you have multiple labels that you want to add, then uh, you can source those from a file uh, uh, with the at symbol, and, um, and that can be included in the horizontal script. And then the other issue has to do with the molecular scene settings. Uh, this is a uh, 18 element matrix. It can be a, a printed to the command history window by typing uh, get underscore view. The uh, default format is uh, very tedious to edit and into a compact format suitable for pasting onto the uh, command line. So I wrote a uh, program called uh, roundview.py. This is a, a Python script that uh, um, has the round view uh, function. You just type round view and you will get back the uh, 18 element uh, scene settings in a very compact uh, format on a single line. It's easy to copy from the command history window and paste onto the command line. This uh, roundview.py script is available from the EasyPyMol uh, website at uh, GitHub. So EasyPyMol is one word, GitHub is one word. If you search for those uh, two words in Google, you should find this site. On the site, you'll find links to YouTube videos that describe how to install the roundview.py uh, script on the Windows operating system on uh, Mac and on uh, Linux. You'll also find there are additional scripts that are described in the um, uh, um, uh, paper uh, in uh, Protein Science. Uh, one script is actually an exam that uh, I give to students. Um, in that uh, script, there's uh, uh, horizontal scripts are, there's 10 horizontal scripts, they're each mapped to an alias. Uh, for example, Q1 for question one on 
down to the Q10. So a student will enter Q1 and get the scene for the first question, and they'll also get the question printed to the command history window. Um, and they don't have to fiddle around with uh, setting up the scene. They can focus on answering the scientific question uh, that they have to address. This enables them to uh, uh, really harness the power of uh, PyMall without having to, uh, while still being no novice users. So uh, may you uh, go forth and enjoy uh, applying uh, horizontal scripting to your own work. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, send me an email. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for your interest. And